Hello friends, in this video we synthesize parabromoacetanilide without directly using the molecular bromine. Parabromoacetanilide or 4-bromoacetanilide is an organic compound with a bromine group attached to the fourth position of acetanilide. Here, the novel brominating agent we use is an aqueous mixture of ceric ammonium nitrate and potassium bromide. Advantages being of course the toxicity of bromine vapors is decreased. The reaction that is taking place is an aqueous media and also acetic acid is not being used as a solvent for acetanilide unlike in the classical method. Materials required include 1 gram of acetanilide, 1 gram of potassium bromide, 6 grams of ceric ammonium nitrate and 15 ml of ethyl alcohol. Start by taking a small 100 ml round bottom flask and add 1 gram of acetanilide into it. Acetanilide was synthesized in one of my previous videos. I will put a link to that in the description. Now we add 15 ml of 96% ethyl alcohol to the flask. This is to dissolve the acetanilide. Swirl the flask to dissolve the acetanilide. When acetanilide gets completely dissolved in the flask, we are left with a clear solution. Now we take another small round bottom flask and add 1 gram of potassium bromide into it. You can also use sodium bromide instead of the potassium salt. Next we add 6 grams of ceric ammonium nitrate into it. It has a bright orange color and looks exactly like potassium dichromate crystals. Ceric ammonium nitrate is a pretty strong oxidizing agent which oxidizes the bromide and generates the bromonium ion or bromine in situ which then reacts with the acetanilide to form the a final product. Ceric ammonium nitrate in potassium bromide is our novel brominating agent. Now we set up a separatory funnel on top of the round bottom flask containing the acetanilide and ethanol. Make sure the knob of the separatory funnel is closed. Now we add the brominating agent in the separatory funnel and we slowly open the knob of the separatory funnel so that the ceric ammonium nitrate and sodium bromide mixture falls very slowly dropwise to the acetanilide solution. Along with the addition, swirl the flask to mix the contents well in the flask. For some people, after the complete addition of the brominating agent, the crude precipitate immediately separates out. But in my case, the product remained dissolved in alcohol. So next, we take about 150 ml of ice cold distilled water and add the contents of the flask into the water. I forgot why, but I had taken the contents of the flask in my separate funnel and then added it into the distilled water. On mixing them together, a white precipitate separates out and this is the crude parabromoacetanilide. This was then filtered by simple gravity filtration method. After filtration, a light red tinge remained. So I washed the compound a couple of times with cold distilled water. Then I decided to recrystallize it. For that, I dissolved the compound in 50% alcohol in water solution and heated the solution. The solution turned pretty dark but clear solution was obtained. It was then placed overnight undisturbed in room temperature. When the solution cooled down, needle shaped crystals of parabromoacetanilide separated out. It still had that dark color to it. Maybe I should have used some decolorizing carbon to make it white. I didn't care doing the second recrystallization, so I filtered the solution to obtain the crystals. Mm -hmm. 
and here we have the final product that is the needle shaped crystals of parabromoacetanilide my yield was 1.34 gram which is about 85 percentage yield I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server. I will put a link to that in the description.